Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Your Excellency, the Vice President, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, the Chairman of Council of State, the Chief of Staff, Office of the President, Your Excellency's former President of the Republic of Ghana, and the First Ladies herein present, Your Lordships, Justices of the Supreme Court and other Superior Courts of Judicature, my laws, spiritual, the National Chief Imam, retired Chief Justices, and the retired Justices who are here in present, Nanano members of the Bar Service Commanders here in present, distinguished invited guests, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, friends of the media. I feel exceptionally privileged and honored to stand before you today having been sworn in to serve as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana. I am indeed humbled and would like to thank the Almighty God for how far he has brought me and for making all this possible. I would like to thank His Excellency the President for the confidence he has reposed in me, the Council of State and Parliament for the respective constitutional rules each institution played in the appointment process. This morning, before all persons present, I have solemnly made three oaths for which I will be responsible to this country and to my creator. These promises to be loyal to the Republic and faithfully perform the functions of my office without fear or fever, affection or ill will, will guide me daily in all decisions I take in my role as Chief Justice. During my vetting by Parliament, it was evident that the following issues concerning the judiciary were of concern to the representatives of the people of Ghana, the integrity of the judiciary and the continuing perception of corruption, delays in the justice delivery system, poor infrastructure of the courts and residences of judicial offices, inadequate resources for the running of the judiciary and justice delivery system, challenges surrounding the legal education in Ghana, I want to assure the people of Ghana that I will continue to jealously guide the integrity of the judiciary as my predecessors in office have done and will take all necessary steps to ensure that during my term of office, solutions are found to these issues of concern. In doing so, Your Excellency, I will count on your support to secure the much needed financial resources for improved and efficient justice delivery. I would like to thank my predecessor in office, her leadership, Justice Sophia Abna Boafwaekufo, for her dynamic leadership of the judiciary over the two and a half years in office. I also take this opportunity to thank her leadership, Justice Georgina Tilda Rewood, for teaching me the basic administration in the judicial process. I commend her for her seal and quality of justice delivered. I once again thank Your Excellency the President, the members of the Council of State, Parliament, and my colleagues on the Supreme Court who supported me during the vetting. I thank all other members of the Judiciary and the Judicial Service Management and staff for all the support offered to me over the years. I thank the members of the Bar for the cordial relationship you have enjoyed over the years. I thank all the members of my family, friends, and classmates who have traveled far and wide to be present to support me today. I conclude by thanking the Almighty God with the knowledge that he will continue to guide me daily as I embark on my role as Chief Justice. May I take this opportunity to refer to the good book, Proverbs 31, verse 9. Open your mouth, judge righteously. Plead the cause of the needy and the poor. Your Excellency, I assure you and the people of Ghana that I will give all my best and I will live to the confidence that has been reposed in me by you today. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Thank you. Very much.